What we're going to be going over here is manufacturing overhead costs and variances and we're going to be looking at the controllable versus uncontrollable variances and we're going to be calculating these and it's going to be based on a standard costing system where we're going to be using a flexible budget. So what we're going to be looking at here is we're going to be tracking our fixed and variable overhead costs through these T accounts here with the associated formulas. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our actual costs here for our fixed variable and fixed overheads and they're going to be moved into a manufacturing overhead account, control account here, but they're going to be moved in at two different amounts that we're going to be looking at. First we're going to have to calculate the budgeted fixed overhead plus the actual variable overhead amount. And then we're going to have to calculate the budget fixed overhead plus the standard variable overhead amount. And then those amounts will really be moved into the work and process control account here at the standard cost. So we're also going to have to determine the standard cost. But there's going to be a difference here between our standard cost and our actual cost. And of course what we uh, calculated here for those different overheads. And based on that we're going to determine our variances here. So what we're going to have here, we're going to have to determine a spending variance here for the variable overhead and fixed overhead amount. And then we're also going to have to calculate the variable overhead efficiency variance over here. And then we're also going to have to be looking at the production volume variance. We're going to calculate that. And then knowing these variances here, then we can calculate our controllable variance here and our uncontrollable variance. Okay, so let's start with our T accounts here. But before we get into that, we're going to be using a reference key for those formulas here that we have with our T account. So we're going to start out here, and I got everything marked in red here. So uh, first, our SVOR, that's going to stand for a standard variable overhead rate. SFOR stands for the standard fixed overhead rate. AHU, those are the actual hours used. SHA is the standard hours allowed. And then DH, those are the total budgeted direct labor hours for the period and they're referred to as the denominator hours because they act as the denominator here in our formula here to determine our standard fixed overhead and standard, standard variable overhead and our standard fixed overhead. So first how do we get these variable overhead or standard variable overhead rate here? So that's simply taking our total variable costs that we have budgeted for the period and divide them by the total direct labor hours that we've budgeted. So for our standard variable overhead rate, our total variable costs we're looking at here, again, budgeted amounts and we're looking at per hour rates. Uh, total variable costs, 144,000 we're estimating and the budgeted or the total hours here that we're looking at, uh, 4,800 uh, hours here in direct labor, 4,800 hours divided that you're going to get a $30 per hour rate here for your standard variable overhead. $30 per hour that you have. So each direct labor hour is $30 here is going to be charged for your standard variable overhead rate. Now uh, for, your to uh, for the standard fixed overhead simply taking the total fixed overhead cost that you're looking for the period again dividing it by the total direct labor hours that we're looking at and that's going to give us our standard fixed overhead rate. Again, total fixed uh, costs we're looking at is 240000 for the period here, divided again by those total direct labor hours here, 4,800 hours. That's going to give us a $50 per hour here, a uh, standard fixed overhead rate. So for every hour of direct labor, $50 here is going to be charged for a fixed over, uh, overhead rate. Okay, so now let's go up here and do our, go follow through our T accounts and make our calculations. So starting with our variable costs and looking at our actual costs here, total variable actual cost, 121,500. Our fixed, our actual variable, our actual fixed cost, 242,500. Total amount here, $364,000. So there are, those are our actual costs that we'll be dealing with here for variable and our fixed amounts. And then uh, making our calculations here for our manuf manufactured overhead. So we're going to start with the first amount here. We're looking at that budgeted fixed plus our actual variable. So our budgeted fixed is simply taking our standard fixed overhead rate times our denominator hours, those 4,800 hours. That would be the $50 here uh, for the standard fixed overhead rate times 4,800 hours gives us 240000 here. 
So the next thing we have is our actual variable uh, amount that we're looking at. So that's the actual hours used here. Those are 4,100 hours times our standard fix, our variable overhead rate here of $30. That gives us 123,000. So total amount here for the budgeted fixed amount, 240,000 plus our actual variable here of 120,000, 123,000 is going to give us $363,000. Okay, so now looking at our budgeted fix plus our standard variable amount. So we calculated our budgeted fix to be 240,000 here, but the standard variable amount here, that is taking our standard, standard hours allocated or allowed here of 4,000 times our standard variable over rate here, overhead rate here of $30 per hour, a total amount here of $120,000. So adding that, uh, uh, 240,000 here plus the 120,000 is going to give us 360,000 here for our budgeted fix plus our standard variable. Now, looking at our work and process account here for that standard cost, that's simply taking our standard variable overhead rate here, $30 per hour, and adding to it the standard fixed overhead rate here, $50 per hour, and taking that times the standard hours allowed here based for our standard cost here was 4,000 hours. So we allow 4,000 hours here for the period times total amount here, $80, is going to give us $320,000. So that's the standard cost. Now, we're going to have to compare this $320,000 standard cost to our actual cost here, 364000 to determine, and we'll determine our uh, variances here based on the differences, the difference here, the 364000 versus the 320000 here in our standard cost to determine our variances. So we have to start with our variable overhead, our spending variance. That's simply taking our actual amount here, 121500 and then we subtract that from at the standard fixed overhead rate here, $30, times the actual hours used here, 4,100 hours. What does that give us? 123,000 here. Compare it to our actual amount here, 121,500. So uh, we have a $1,500 variance here. So, and that's gonna be a favorable variance here when we credit to our variable overhead spending variance account here by uh, that amount because we're under budget. The actual amount used here, 121,500, is less than what we had budgeted here, Ed, uh, based on our, or actually used here based on our standard variable overhead rate here, so of 123,000. $1,500 variance, a uh, favorable amount here, so we credit it. Now, the other uh, variable overhead that we have to deal with is that efficiency variance, and that's simply taking our actual hours used, in this case that was at 4,100 hours here, and we'd subtract from that the standard hours allowed. Was, we're standing based on our standard of 4,000 hours, so the difference gives us 100 hours here. Difference times our standard variable overhead rate here of $30 per hour. So difference here, 100 hours times $30 per hour is going to give us $3,000 here. So we're going to debit our efficiency variance here, variable overhead efficiency variance for $3,000 in unfavorable amount. And that's simply because our actual hours, used, we use 100 hours here more than the standard hours that we allowed. 4,100 versus the actual used versus the 4,000 here, uh, standard hours that were allowed. Okay, so that takes care of our a variable overhead. Now let's go down here and look at our fixed overhead. And this is where we have to deal with the spending variance again. This is where we take our actual uh, variable our actual fixed overhead cost in this case it's going to be two hundred forty two thousand five hundred dollars that we had actual amount and then we'd have to subtract or compare it to the budgeted uh, amount here for the period so that would be our standard fixed overhead rate times those the denominator hours, those total uh, 4,800 hours, that was that budgeted du total direct labor hours for the period here. So standard fixed overhead rate, $50 per hour times 4,800 hours here, budgeted uh, the denominator hours here, that's going to give us 240000 So in this case, we're over budget again here. We spent 242,500 hours versus what we uh, budgeted here for 240,000. So we're overspent here by 2,500 hours. So we debit our fixed overhead spending variance by 2,500 hours. Okay. Of $2,500, excuse me. Okay. So then we have one other thing. We have that production volume variance that's associated with our fixed overhead here. So that's simply taking 
the difference here between our uh, denominator hours, those total 4,800 hours here, uh, and compare it to the standard variable, uh, a standard uh, hours allowed here of 4,000 hours. So the, just the difference is what we're looking at. So we're denominator hours we calculated to be, or we estimated to be for the direct labor hours to be 4,800. And standard hours allowed 4,000, so we're 800 hours over here, 800 hours extra here, or that we have extra here, or denominator versus the standard hours allowed. So we got those 800 hours times the standard fixed overhead rate here of $50. So that's going to give us $40,000. Again, unfavorable here. So we debit our production volume variance here for 40,000 hours, $40,000 unfavorable because the total hours that we budgeted for here 4800 is greater than the standard hours allowed here 4000 by 800 hours so our total variance that we're looking at again we just net our amounts out here credits with our debits so the net amount after looking at the taking our uh, what was favorable here and then all our unfavorable amounts net amount you're going to come up with 44000 here is an unfavorable amount and if we go back to just go back to our account to look at it that uh, compares here. Our actual cost is 364000 here versus what we have uh, for our standard cost here, 320000 So the difference is 44000 which shows up here as what we calculated in our different T accounts here. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now let's go back and let's look at, go back to over here and look at our accounts that we started with here. So we've calculated all these amounts in our T accounts. Our very actual cost here for our variable and fixed was 64000 and then we calculated that actual variable here plus the budgeted fix at 363000 and then we have our budgeted fix plus our standard variable. We calculated that here at 360000 then our standard cost here was 320000 just to review those. So for our spending variance, that was that variable overhead uh, spending variance. We had a $1,500 favorable amount and then for the fixed overhead spending variance, we had an unfavorable amount here of 2,500. So that gave us an un netted out here at $1,000 unfavorable here. Now we can we'll compare that to our volume, a variable overhead efficiency variance. That's the 363,000 here compared to the 360,000 here. So we're looking at our actual variable overhead. Uh, with against the budgeted fixed budgeted fixed overhead here is constant for both of those. So we're actually looking at our actual variable overhead versus our standard variable overhead. So our actual variable overhead with those budgeted fixed was that 363,000 versus our standard amount that we're looking at allowed here 360,000. So the difference here gives us 3,000 in unfavorable amount. Okay, so you understand why we had to go and calculate those amounts here for our actual variable overhead versus our standard variable overhead. We come up with that variable overhead efficiency variance here of 3,000. So if you just look at netting your spending variance here of 1,000 unfavorable and add to it the volume efficiency variance here of 3,000, you're coming up with that uncontrollable, total amount here, uncontrollable variance of $4,000. So that's how you get your uncontrollable variance. Okay, so now looking at uh, our, this was controllable variance, if we, if I mentioned that, just to understand the controllable variance. If I said uncontrollable, I was wrong. Controllable variance. Okay, so now for uncontrollable variance, that's simply taking our production. And that's looking at our production volume variance. So that's taking that three hundred and sixty thousand dollar amount here. And remember, it was our budgeted fixed overhead plus our standard variable overhead amount here, and we compare it to the uh, standard cost here of 320,000. So that gives us our production volume variance, 360,000 here, and uh, subtract the 320,000 here. So we're getting 40,000 unfavorable amount based on that. Okay, so that is what we call our uncontrollable variance here, the $40,000 amount. So we've got our controllable variance, unfavorable here at 4,000, and our uncontrollable variance here, unfavorable at 44,000. So the net uh, a variance here is 44,000. And that's really what we calculated before. It just taking our, and we can look at it in these terms here. That is just our actual cost here, 364,000, and compare it to our standard cost of 320,000. So the difference here is 
a $44,000 variance. Only and by 40, it's unfavorable because our actual cost here of 364,000 is greater than what we have for a standard cost here of 320,000. So we went through this and we went through a number of calculations here and everything, but just to, that's what we were looking at. We were looking at total variance here. We were actually comparing our actual cost to our standard cost here. And you can see 364,000 compared to the 320 actual cost, 364,000 versus our standard cost here, 320,000. That gave us that 44,000 here of a variance here. Of it, a controllable amount was the four, a 4,000 un, uh, unfavorable here, plus we looked at the uncontrollable variance, 40,000 here, unfavorable. Just so you understand, and just go through these numbers here and you can see how why we had to make these calculations to determine what our controllable and uncontrollable variances would be. Okay, so that'll summarize our topic. All right, for a follow-up here, I neglected to say that if you take your actual cost here for your variable and fixed overheads, 364000 and compare it to the budgeted fixed overhead plus the actual variable overhead here of 363000 the difference here is really your spending variance. And you can see the 364000 versus 363000 is a $1,000 difference, and it's unfavorable in this case. But the actual cost here were greater than the budgeted cost. And then just looking at expanding on these formulas here, uh, looking at our spending variance uh, and taking, looking at your variable overhead, you just take your actual variable overhead here, and then you would subtract your, your standard variable overhead rate times the actual hours used. Okay, so that would be your spending variance for your variable overhead. And then for your fixed overhead, just take your actual fixed overhead and then subtract it, uh, the, your standard fixed overhead rate times the denominator hours or those total direct labor hours. And then looking at your volume efficiency variance, that's simply taking your actual hours used and, and the difference between your actual hours used and your standard hours allowed here times your standard variable overhead rate. And then for your production volume variance, it's just taking those denominator hours, those, those total direct labor hours here, and comparing it to the standard hours allowed, the difference here, times your standard fixed overhead rate. Okay, so that's relating these variances here to these equations that we're looking at.